last time that you were here. Um, mostly I'm working with um, handling oil penning, handling oil color and and getting over the the hurdle of this stuff is wet, you know, and what do I do with it and and how do I make it behave? How do I beat it into submission, which I found out does not work. You cannot beat it into submission, you have to finesse. You have to be, you know, gentle with it. And um, <laughs> but I didn't find that out right away. Um, so anyway, and then the other point is, I'm actually going to, instead of just mixing paint today, I'm really going to try to put something on the canvas. So, um, and these are the colors that I, I just was working with. I didn't want to get too many colors. Um, so actually, I've got two whites because they're they're different. I've got a yellow, and I'm just using yellow, you know, yellow colored dirt. And um, and this is Burnsiana, I think it is. Oh, it's Indian red, pretty close. And James gray. Um, I better wait on that. No, I'll try. No, I won't. I'm trying to figure out. About, I found another black. It's really cool. So, I don't know. Maybe some else will come. So, I think what I'll do is put this on here for now. I like my big knife. That's. Anyway. We'll use that. Okay, well, here. Let's take a little bit of this black. I just got to remember where I'm putting stuff. Um, I'm going to set up a palette a little bit different this time. And I'm going to go uh, red to violet. And the reason I'm going to go red to violet is because that's the two spectrums. The frequencies are um, your red frequency is a long wave, longer wave color. And your, your violet is a, a shorter wave color, like ultraviolet infrared so that's that's my thinking and and the way i'm going to lay it out in between is that he said i gotta find a quick way to do this here not talk too much okay. so i did say i'd start with red this is this is one way it, it will work pretty good to save your oil color around a piece of glass um squeeze out, you know, all the air and disruptions of turning that on it. It works okay. You don't have to refrigerate it. You can. You can freeze it. As far as that goes. It doesn't seem to be a problem. And I brought a trash can. There it is. Okay. So, red. Put some red on there. Well, I know how to do this. I think. Can you see it? No, you can't see it. Um, so red, I'm going to start out with red. Nice job, thing of red. And then, have I got you off here? I do. I'll use that. And get some yellow. I'll skip orange. But it'll be there. Look at that. Oops, this way. Look at that. Okay. And then, um, so, I've got yellow, and then we're going to go to green, but we're going to mix green. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to use another earth color called burnt umber. There it is, burnt umber. And um, that's going to be my green for the moment, because I can always throw more yellow into it if I need to. So that's burnt umber. And then I'm going to use that color I was talking about, the other black. And what it is, it's called Carolyn black. And it's around here somewhere. There it is. Carolyn black. And I'll show you something about that in just a moment. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that first word. Here, I'm going to let you spell it out. Here, there it is right there. Oh, okay. And, um, and uh, yeah. oh. as soon as I get this other thing, 
on there. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Right. This is um, All right, hon, you too. this color yep, here yep. is uh, um, Mars Violet. And it's just a very dark, um, it's a synthetic, um, which means they, they threw some chemicals into it and heated it up. <laughs> right? So that's what they did. And that's why it's what it is. And um, now, I do want to show you a little bit. So that's the that's pretty much the end of my palette right there. Does it sound like that? There you go. Does that do it? Sure. Okay. That's about everything that's in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two whites on the bottom. And you can pretty much tell by looking at them which one's which. This one is it looks a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to put that one on this side where the yellow is. A little bit more of it here. And I will use more of it. And then I will. Boy, it's really nice to have a bunch of knives. This is really. I didn't realize I could do that. And then I'll put the zinc over here. So zinc is for the cool colors because it's blue. It's it's made a little different. So now, oh good, it looks great. So so I'll show you about the the two colors I was talking about. Here is parallel black. <coughs> that we're going to call green. And we're going to use, because it's a it's a cold green, so we're going to take a little bit of this. Wow. Isn't that nice? That pretty color. <coughs> and I need a little bit of moisture there. It's kind of like doing cement, you know, it doesn't take much water to make it, make it soupy. So that's your black. <clears throat> so for shading, it's really nice to have a really dark, dark, dark green. So we'll call that what it is for now. We'll put that back underneath the green, which is uh, there. So that's what we're calling. Did I do this right? <laughs> Rats. That. Let me check it out here. I'm glad I took notes because so burnt umber, yeah, burnt umber, paraline black, and then regular black. Just this is just carbon. Well, it's carbon black, but it's really we're using Payne's gray, so that means it's, there's a little ultramarine in it. Um, which is going to make it blue. So let's mix some of that and let's do it with the zinc white again. I'll put some of that there and we'll find out if I did it right. <laughs> I think this is just carbon black. Huh? My, yeah, it is just carbon black. So what I'm going I'm to do instead of I really wanted to use Payne's Gray. I just had a bunch of black, so I threw it in there. And what I might do is, just for the fun of it, grab a little bit of ultramarine, blue. Ah, I do have some. And throw a little bit of that in there, just so that it does what I want to. About that much, not, not a lot. And we'll put a little bit in there, which is probably way more than it needs. So that will be King's Gray now, which is Bella. See, I may get to paint. I do this every time. 
Carol, no, 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 it's like, I come here and I say, oh, well, she has like, Oh, you're the mixer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'll put some of that over here. And we'll call that Payne's Gray. I really need to mix that together. I think I better do it now because I might forget. And actually, I need a little bit more of it. I'm just writing some paper. I gotta find a way to do that. I'm gonna take some more of this, all this black that I got. That's my my new page right. Way of doing 
There it is. But it's not, it doesn't tell me what I want. This is a little bit better. It is better. That's so cool, Dave. <laughs> okay, so, um, having said all that, I'll move on to the next thing, whatever I'm doing here. Um, I'll put this out where I can see it, so I'll remember to do it. Oh, up here somewhere, it won't fit. Must be a way to make it fit. I'll think of something. Then I'll put it over here. It won't fit there either. Okay, anyway. There we go. Okay, the other thing is perspective. Uh, we're doing we're doing kind of a live drawing class here, and I started doing a drawing of Chris, who's the one that if you if you kind of I don't know does it make does it look like anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of if you use your imagination. Okay. So, but then I realized I wasn't like you said, Carol, Carol thinking about perspective while I was doing it. So I got doing something more like this to give myself an idea, you know, where's where's the plane? Where, where's the top of the head? How much of it shows? You know, um, so that's when you're doing, when you're doing a painting like the landscape, okay, I've got clouds, here's the one I'm going on. Yep, yep. Okay. okay, those clouds in the background, those could, those are in perspective. There is a vanishing point. There is a horizontal where, where I'm standing, where my eyes are, in relative to that painting, and and up above is 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 closer to me, and down that way toward the horizon is farther away from me. And if I don't think of that. I'm just drawing a map of this thing called a cloud, right, and trying to make you believe that it's a cloud. But if I'm thinking, okay, hey, there's a bottom to this cloud that's, that's headed toward the horizon if it's flat, you know, if it's flat to the center of the earth, um, and I'm thinking about that, it makes me paint it different. Um, in portraiture, did I draw it? I don't think I brought it. No, that's somewhere else. Anyway, um, you know, like when you're drawing, you're drawing the eye and stuff like that. You're kind of guessing at it. You know, say, well, I think the eye really goes wraps around it this way. But if you if you really know where those lines are, you know, your vanishing points, then it makes oh, you can you can almost feel around that three dimensional. Okay, now I'm getting all weird. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you ever has anybody have you ever had that experience when you're drawing? You're supposed to say. <laughs> oh, no, anyway. Okay. Then you feel like, you know, you under, you, you can always feel the shape that you're drawing on a two dimensional plane. Mm. Well, okay, so what I'm gonna do you're going to take some of this yellow and put it into the wax medium. And then I'm going to take some of this. And looking at my drawing, I did one that was, that was more simple, but I couldn't find it this morning. And, um, I'm going to say, oh, look at you thought. I'm going to mix that up. I don't know if this works. I'm, so, I'm still working with this stuff. What is that? Moisture in there. Is how. that alcohol? See? It's, um, it's mineral spirits. Okay. Yeah, I know. And I got kind of a 
this is where the Adobe deal is going to be, somewhere in there. It gets a little orangier. When it gets into here, and like I say, this is just a discipline using that using the fewer colors is pretty much just for the idea of making yourself do it. And then I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. And then we got the driveway over here. Which is the same kind of color. A little bit more moisture. And it kind of comes down this way. two kind of light areas. So I need a little more wax in there. And then, oh, and then I'm going to take a brush to this stuff, which I did not do the last time, and I wish I had. So we got kind of there. It works down that way. And that's kind of the, what I'm hoping for, is i got enough paint on the thing that I, I've got enough that I can push it around with a brush. But I, what I need to do is not start doing that until I get the dark sand. Because I want it to be, you know, I want to be, there's my lights, light areas there. Put some of it there. Where'd my palette go? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's here. Okay, a little bit of there. Um, I got some stuff up there, but I'm not going to put that in because it's just being an annoyance for now. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the green. I like those baby wipes. Hey, my guy, baby wipes. That was good. That's really helpful. Mm -hmm. Good idea. I think we do. Excuse me. Wow, I still got almost 30 minutes. Okay, so green. I got green. There's some green. I'm going to use that. Um, I'll call it that green. Ooh, look at that one. Okay. 
Let's get some green in here. We'll take some wax medium. That's pretty dark. And we got got green in here. Actually, hmm. Now this might be tricky. This is where gesture comes into the whole deal, where you um, you can. I'm looking at this tree here, and. Thank you. Wow, look at that. There you go. How'd you do I that? Found a couple. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you Wow. Great. I'll use that. Yeah. I don't know why he needs more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, um, okay, I got that. But also, I want to get a little bit of this yellow into it. Mmm. That should be fun. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that does. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Cleans it right up. It's got oil and alcohol stuff. So yeah, yeah. And oil and soap. So I got a lighter green in here. I got some in here. Oh wow! Did you see the way that did that? Mm -hmm. Because of the texture underneath, it's already dried, and you get this really cool thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, so maybe that will work. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with dark and go to light and see what happens. Okay, so I got the tree is kind of. And like that. If it isn't just right, don't mess with it. <laughs> don't try to fix it. I think I might want to use a different knife though. You know, oh, I've tried these out. I remember when I bought them, I said, I want to get these ones. Okay, so there's a, something going on here. It's kind of a step deal. Okay. And okay, now I gotta remember to think perspective though. This there's a vanishing point in here. And it's probably it's not in the center. So the um, vanishing point for the driveway is on that line somewhere in there. So the way I've got it drawn right now, the top of the driveway is a little bit higher. So anything that's flat on that driveway, I'm not going to see it at all. It's above, it's above the horizon line. I'll only see something that's tipped a little bit towards me and and down enough so that I can see it. Darker. I don't know if this is working or not, but anyway, we'll try it. Some there. 
in there, in there. And does the same thing in there. And And on the driveway, hmm. <laughs> I did. I broke. Okay. After all that, I talked about oh, being above the horizon line. I want. I don't want it above the horizon line. I don't want more than more, so I'm going to take it down a little bit. Which is nice. You can, is that's one thing I like about oil paint. If you don't like it where it is, you spray it off.
See, now, I don't, I'm not really sure how this is going to work because I've got wet on wet now. So far, I've been kind of just filling dry canvas. So I'm not really sure if that's going to work or not. I might be able to just run the brush over the top of it and not disturb anything or maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, we got that. There's a shadow in here. I kind of want to use blue on that cold shadow. I see. I probably need to get more paint on here before I go too much further. I mean, before I really break out the brush. That's what I did not do yesterday. And I turned into a disaster. But anyway. Um, I want to get that tree in there a little bit. Remember, think perspective, horizon. Oh, that means I need to go like that. Yeah, I'm afraid. See, I'm afraid to do that because I know it's wet. And I'm not sure what it's going to do yet. So I got to wait and find out. Okay. So I got 15 minutes. I got to get this thing done. You're a clock watcher. I got what? You're a clock watcher. Well, I'm, I, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to have mercy, you know. <laughs> oh my. Let's see what else do I do. There's another wall in here that I want to be sure that it gets um, noticed. I like that wax though. It is kind of nice. It's, um, it's easy to work. The wall there. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> and uh, a little bit more of it here. All right, here goes. Okay, now that's a lot of paint. That's like that far off the top of the canvas, so I don't know how that's going to work yet. Having that Mars violet is kind of handy. You know, throwing violet into a color, never quite, I mean, I'm not quite sure what it's going to do. But sometimes it sparks it into, into something that I like. Like that, maybe. Okay. So I've got more, kind of a lighter, but not as light as this. Is what I got to remember because I don't want, I don't want these two fighting for dominance. And then I got all the purple mountains in here too. I'm done any of that. I'm gonna probably not. <laughs> step back while I'm ahead. Um, Let's see what happens. Okay, let's find out what happens when you do the brush. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I'll try it again. All right? Thank you for that one. Man, did <laughs> Okay, brushes. Big brushes. You've got some green ones on the table. Oh, big brushes, yeah. <laughs> let's see. See how it works. I know. That's what I said the last time. I said, what is your biggest brush and then you can get away with it? Alright, here goes. A little water in it. I might need it. Okay, so. Well. I know it's going to happen immediately. I'm going to want to put more paint on. I can see already that that's going to happen. So, I think I should probably 
Damn. That means I gotta make some more paint. Ah. I did get some of it off the out onto the camera saw. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, yeah, what's that? I said you could switch all those bushes around. I could, but you know what? I'm not going to, because one thing to remember with this paint is it shrinks. It, it does. I mean, you put it, you say, oh, I got too much paint on. No, you don't. You don't have too much paint on. Because in a week or two or three, it's going to shrivel up and get small. And it won't look too big. Like, I thought when I did all that in there, oh, that, I gotta have to scrape that down. No, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. So I just talked myself out of using this. Mm -hmm. Probably a good idea. Um, now, the thing is, um, housekeeping wise, what I have to do now. Is I, I need room on my palette. I want to I want to throw in some of that violet. So I gotta I gotta clean stuff and actually get a place to put it. The color I'm gonna use, which is kind of a shift in my thinking. So I have to adjust. Okay, but I've got a green. It's good. I'm gonna take that green. And click it. Excuse me. Okay. Take that down there. That's green. I know where it goes. This is green. I'm going to make a little more of it. I like that green. A little bit of wax in it. Save it for later. Then what? What's that? That's that kind of. Well, that's kind of. Oh, that's the one I just did. Right. Okay, so I should have enough green to mix whatever I need to. Red. That's good. Wax. That's fine. This is. You know what that is. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to clean up my palette and all of that. I think I'll put that wax over there. And um, now, I'll use this. Otherwise, I'll have mud. I don't want mud. Yeah. <laughs> I want some of this color. I do that. Yeah, just figuring out. When I went to art school, I remember one of the first things that I saw, I went to Portland Art School in Maine. And um, and there was one artist up in the kind of a loft area. And he's painting the log, and all of a sudden I see him go, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> that's <was> cool. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is you might waste some paint, but you you know, put it where you can at least grab it back, you know, if you need it. Probably won't. But if you did. Okay. Um I wanna use this again, so I guess I better clean it up a little bit. That one I can put this and that one goes in there. Alright. 
Okay, I'm kind of almost ready to start over. So, blue has a shorter wavelength than violet, I think. Um, no, longer. It's just a, way around, yeah. a longer wavelength. Yeah, it's backwards. Um, what I'm looking for is the last color you're going to see in the distance is going to have the shortest wavelength. Yeah, my understanding is it tends to get grayer as it gets to the distance. Is it, is it violet? <coughs> I guess violet. Violet, I think it is violet. So, as I come toward me on the picture, I want to be, I'll work toward blue. All right. Oh, good. That's good. That'll work. I'm going to add a little white to that. You know, I'll use zinc white. And then, just for the fun of it, I'm going to take some of this blue that I made. And, uh, and two, it's darker. So, as it gets a little closer. That's, that's I don't know if it's right, but that's, a, that's the way I'm going to go with it. So there's, there's my mountains in the distance and um, medium and, and close up. Mm -hmm. more wax. This wax is great. You didn't mix enough paint, just throw more wax in it. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. This comes down like that. I pull that out right in there over here. You know, if I, if I had, if I don't have it just right, I'm not too worried about the you know, proportion of it. Um, I just want to get it close. I always wanted to do this. I'm gonna do it now. Mm -hmm. I think these things are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I uh, will do it. I'll, I'll scrape off this and put it there. I probably put it, should have put it somewhere specific. I didn't. <laughs> I'll do that next time. Okay. And uh, there's the other one. Because actually, that's kind of the mixing area. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I think what I want, I want to have. 
this brush as well. Brush. No brush. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. Why not use this thing? Okay, so what I want is to decide where that's going to be and kind of move it that way. That'll work. And some of that is in here. And I can clean it up with a brush later. This, that very mountain top deal, is kind of in there. Oh, it doesn't look that much lighter. I thought it would. But anyway, that's working okay. And then it gets a little darker as you go over that way. Blue. are nice. I mean, like you're right there, and you know, you're right there. So I'm going to move that. But it works good for, I don't think I'd want my paint on there particularly. I think I'd rather mix my paint somewhere else and throw it on here and go from there. So let's see, there's mountains showing back in there. Anyway, something like that. Hold that there, so I can get that done. Okay. So I want this. Huh. Oh well. Anyway, that's kind of good. Um, that done. That done. Now, now I'm looking at what. Okay, I got you know. There's the driveway. It's kind of there. The shadow running across it, 
Maybe the driveway comes up a little further and then you get kind of a car in here. And then a fairly dark green. But I want it, I don't want it quite so um, vibrant as that. I got the fence and the post. Actually, it's more like that color. Anyway. You guys hungry? I think there's food out there. I'm going to pay for a little bit longer. I'm not as faint as I was the last time. <laughs> I quit because I got like, oh um, my. Um, any comments? You know, what do you think? You want to try it this way? You want to try, you try the wax medium and stuff? Um, it will work with the water, the water base. I want to try it. I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find it. Where did you get it? Um, I'm pretty sure I got it from Dick Blake. From where? Dick Blake. Okay. Um, and like I said, I was going to look it up this morning because I couldn't find it. I mean, I put it in a box somewhere. <laughs> oh. And I think, well, maybe I can make some, you know. I got paraffin, you know. I mean, it's probably what it is, primarily. Right. <laughs> with some solvent enough to, that will evaporate out of it and let it turn back into paraffin, I guess, maybe. Um, let's see what I do this thing. Okay, so this is gonna, this will work all right. When you get done with it, you just scrape it off and clean it and use it again. Not with that, right? not with that. It will never be the same if I use the one that has all the green paint on it. That's kind of a nice gray. Handy, handy color to have. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I'm gonna do. I make a clipboard or something on both sides of the, you know, about a five pound board, you know, so I go back and forth. Either there or you just start wiping it on the couch. <laughs> but this is the only one I got, so I don't want to do that. Um, oh, there's some good Dorland's wax. Do you want to take some home? You try it? Maybe. Not the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I didn't bring it out either. Um, I can tube my own paint. It's really fun. Um, you, what you do is you roll up, you take some wax paper, and you put it on there, and then you, you basically roll it up, right? And then you, you shove it inside the tube, and close off the tube, and pull it out. <laughs> a pharmacist showed me this once. He gave me a bunch of tubes, too. He said, you, you know, I don't know, somehow he, he knew that I would be interested in it, and he, and he gave me the tubes. He said, well, how am I going to get rid of these tubes? I don't know, I'll give them to that kid. <laughs> and he showed me how to fill them. And, and yeah, I'm still doing it. I mean, that was like 50 years ago, anyway. At least. Um, yeah, we're doing it. Um, anyway, I've got to. No, I didn't happen to bring this time. Maybe next time. I want to do this again. This is fine. Part three. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, part three. Thank you for coming. I mean, it wouldn't be fun if you were here. So, well, I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't be as fun. How about that? <laughs> Thank you.